going on, Rashawn? Merry Christmas. Um, with uh, with the challenge that's coming up this weekend, Aaron Rodgers, obviously a, a future Hall of Famer. What what? How do you go about confusing a guy like that who has played so played so much football over the course of his career? I mean, sure, you can do a you can do as many things as you can. Um, as far as confusing, that's that that might be too far fetched because the dude. Dude have been in the league and had so much success in the league for so long. And like you said, future Hall of Fame, I mean, you know, it's one of them, it's one of those situations where he has to literally just have a bad play almost in a way. So, um, you know, the best we can do is like you said, we can try to disguise or whatever we can try to do. But at the main, the main thing is to make sure we execute regardless of what we are disguised. And then with uh, with the tight end Tanya, and he's having such a great year. How do you uh, how, what what has kind of been your uh, your study of mm -hmm. him so far, and and what makes him and Roger so effective together? Yeah, I think the chemistry. Um, you know, you know the the main thing with the chemistry between those guys is they they seem like they they know each other really really well with timing and you know fin fin those 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 throws in that Aaron Rodgers that we know him to do those throws that he does and fin them in there to him to make him, uh, you know, have the ability to be able to extend plays. I mean, you could definitely see that on film. And, you know, the number one thing for us is just to make sure we contain not only just him, but a lot of other guys. You know, you got another really good guy, uh, number 17, Adams, uh, just trying to contain those guys because those are the guys he loves to throw to. Luke? Hey, Rashawn, you know, obviously the sack numbers have been down for you guys this week. That's been, yeah. you know, talked about, or this year, excuse me, that's been talked about a lot. Mm -hmm. What needs to happen, do you think, over the, the next two weeks and then into the playoffs to get those up? Or, or are you in a position where maybe you can't get them up and you have to just try to create negative plays in other ways? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, um, you know, it just might be just on the wave of how things are moving. It might just be the rhythm of how things are going on. You know, it just really depends on, you know, a lot of aspects on how you get sex. Uh, it may, whether it be more one-on-ones, whether it be more games or whatever it may be, um, you know, the the number one thing for us is to, you know, be playing our best ball in the back end of the season. So, you know, if, it, if, if you know, we didn't get any sex in the first beginning of the season, you know, it is what it is, you know, but if we can get it in the back end of the season, that's, that's what matters the most, so. You know, I think I know one thing is just really, really giving effort, um, giving the effort that we've been doing this season and, you know, and, and allowing those plays to come to us. Over the first half of the season, you and, and several others talked about the need to get on the same page, not only with shame, but also with each other. Mm -hmm. What's sort of the status update on that? How has that progressed since maybe, you know, week seven, week eight? Oh, I think it's, I think it's every game is continually – uh, getting better and what in some in some aspect and you know that's what you want you want you want to be able to continue to get better as the season goes on um you know you know the last thing you want to do is you know the peak or be really good in early in the season and then the back end of the season you know and not have the same type of you know energy or the same type of results so uh for us man we just really excited for you know the opportunity to be able to play against you know another really good team um which is going to be a playoff atmosphere and you know, like, like, like I've been saying, man, for us to, you know, take advantage of the opportunities that we have. And that will basically, you know, kind of, you know, really, really make everybody forget about even what happened in the first half of the season. All right. I think that's everything from us. Appreciate your time. I, I got one more, Rashawn, if you got time for it. Sure. Yeah. I just, uh, just on the, the weather up there this weekend in Green Bay. I mean, we, we talked to Brable about it earlier. He says heat is a uh, is something that actually physically exhausts you, but cold is just mental. Yeah. Uh, how much did you have to get through that in Kansas City last year, and, and can that help you at all uh, this yeah, week? I mean, I mean, I'm not even going to lie. It was definitely freezing out there, but, you know, whenever you play in these big games, man, rain, sleet, or snow, it's, it's – you know, you you like, man. I'm I'm just excited, just playing a big game, man. To be able to, you know, have the opportunity to go out there and make big plays and be able to get a win for the team, man. That, I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, you know, the the weather in some aspects can make it exciting because um, it's a challenge. Uh, knowing that we're going into a hostile environment, knowing that it's going to be super cold, something that we're not used to at all. Some of the guys that's on the team, um, but. At the same time, man, it's exciting. It's another challenge for us. And it's going to be like, like I said, man, another playoff type atmosphere out there uh, because, you know, um, you know, 
in this situation, both teams had the opportunity to both, you know, uh, you know, go into the to the playoffs and make a run. So, you know, I'm excited, man, to be able to play against another Hall of Fame quarterback. Man, I, got to, I, I got to apologize, Rashawn. I asked you just enough questions for Wyatt to get in here and ask you one more. <laughs> Are you good? Go ahead, Jim. Hi, how you doing, Rashawn? No, um, what what have you learned? You've had a couple of different uh, position coaches since, since you've been in the league. What what have you learned from Haslett? What what have kind of been his teaching points for you? He was kind of bragging about you uh, mm. on the call Tuesday. Mm. Oh, just man, just you know, you know, whenever you have different coaches, you, you definitely want to try to get a top, kind of some type of chemistry, some type of you know relationship as far as you know things that you can come and talk to him about. Um, you know, as far as X's and O's and stuff. And, you know, I feel like we've, we've had, you know, some of the best, best, you know, you know, couple games as far as just, you know, talking about those things that I've had, in, you know, since I've been here. So, um, you know, Jim is one of those guys, he's an older guy, but, you know, his, his mindset and the way he does things is, is almost like a young guy. So it's very, very interesting to be around him, man. And dude is so knowledgeable about the game. Um, he's had the opportunity to play the game, the opportunity to coach the game as assistant, the opportunity to coach as a head coach. So whenever you get a guy like that, man, I'm, I'm trying to soak up as much information as I can, just like I did with Dean Pease when he was here. So anytime, anytime you got a, a guy that's that's been in the game for that long, he's been in the game uh, longer than I've been alive. So um, that that just lets you know what type of knowledge he has. And, and, and you know, just for me to be able to be coached by him, it's definitely a pleasure. And, and what was your reaction when you saw the Will Compton haircut? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I was looking at Will. I was like, Will, is was that on purpose or was that something you know that was, that was on accident? Because if it was accident, you probably need to fire your barber. But I think he's actually trying to do. It was some some. Uh, I don't know if it's a show or a movie or whatever that he's he's basically uh, being Blinders. an actor. What what was the name of the actor? Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders. So. Um, you know, the thing about Peaky Blind is when I saw the picture, his actually looked pretty good. But Will's, <laughs> Will's is a little, it's, you know, it's, it's there, but it's not quite there. So either way, I mean, I'm just happy that he's able to do it. And, and, and you know, he's the type of guy that when he does something, he goes all the way. So just expect that from him.